we both believed that she had more time left in her life, and none of us thought this that she was going to die. <laughs> She bought the spinach. Mm -hmm. We we ate it, and she went to bed. She seemed fine. The next morning, she felt ill. She got worse during the day. Mm -hmm. We took her to the emergency room. Three and a half days later, she was dead. We had no idea that the food that you know was brought to our table could even have something like that. The irony that you know this is supposed to be. A healthy food. Mm -hmm. This is something you, this isn't like candy or ice cream. You know, this is something we bought to, you know, because we can live better with it, lose weight, be more nutritious, and, you know, and it turns around and, and kills somebody. The entire incident was preventable, mm -hmm. and that's really what mm -hmm. spurred us into doing, doing something. We just didn't want this to happen to anybody else. That was really when we started out on this journey was, um, you know, after watching my mother go through such a horrific death and, and, you know, to go through different points where, you know, you just know that, you know, her pain was so immense and that she was terrified by what was happening to her. If Ruby had been diagnosed in a timely manner and the Food Safety Modernization Act was in place, I think that the recall could have been accelerated rather than waiting to see this mounting tide of people who are gravely ill or dead. Well, and I'd obviously like to see zero deaths. I'd like to see a safe food supply.